So, as soon as we landed on Roseway, there were no guards on site. Dead buddies everywhere, and I could actually see why. Seems like we just walked into bloodshed at this point. Holy cow. Let me just put my gun away before I talk to him. I done had enough of this shit. Okay. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Um guess this answers your question as to where Tarmac security is, Ellie. Somehow I'm not reassured, Captain. Yeah, you and me both, ma'am. What happened here? Alarms went off. Raps broke loose and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. You said the raps broke loose. Did you have them caged up? Um, forget I said anything about that. Well, what can you tell me about them? Wish they tasted like sissy pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. Thanks, that's helpful. Don't mention it. Anything else you'd like to know? Did you send the distress call? Distress call? From yeah. here? Yeah. Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. What? Why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. I'm just going to take a look around. Oh, before I forget, Auntie Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Right. Thank you for the... Mandatory advertisement you need to do. Holy cow, this is a disaster. A massacre, basically. Okay, I see three different people here. I'm gonna go to this one since Orson is closer to me. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. What are you talking about? Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't no. Are you to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the raptodons? What? I'm here to help. Someone sent out a distress call. Oh, well, good luck. Now, they got the carpet in here. It's just a matter. Are you kidding me? Just put it. Ah. Hello? Of course. <laughs> Anyways, oh, you're still hello? Here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. So, where... Okay. This guy is so concentrated on his work, he doesn't care if he lives or dies. That's so sad. I'm so happy I'm not like that anymore. Seriously. No job is worth your life. Just so you know. Um, what are you doing there? What does it look like? I'm don't be a personal defense device, or trying to anyway. You don't have to be an ass, but okay. If you run a wire from your capacitor there, you can bypass that circuit and save a little power. I. Mm -hmm. Why yes, I suppose I could. Thanks. You're welcome. Need a hand? No. Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Yes or no? Perhaps. Okay. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Care to elaborate? I found an advanced pistol when we moved here, but it's broken. I need those schematics to modify it to output superheated air. 
It should quite easily burn through raptodon hides. Where's the storage facility? Out the south gate. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. Sure, I'll see what I can find. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? No. Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Okay, I'll definitely go help out Shaw. The somatic should be somewhere over here, right? Okay, they're outside the gate, so... Let's head on out and see if we can help him. We are here at the facility. Decided to take a nice little shortcut since... I'm a little bit clueless as to following the directions. And yeah, the map's easy, whatever. I just figured might as well just use a shortcut, you know? Would I actually give the weapon to the scientist? No, because I know for a fact, I'm thinking about giving it to the person who gave us this job in the first place, so. This place is a little too quiet here. I don't know. Oh. Oh! Second chance, sorry. Now I can tell this place is not quiet anymore. Oh, shit. The way he was screaming. Shut up. I just love scavenging, even if it's from dead bodies. I know, it's messed up, but I really don't care at this point. Okay, so it's downstairs? Because if that's the case, then there should be some sort of, oh, underground ship, maybe? I'll take this, I'll take that, take that. Um, okay, I can see that I'm, oh, that I'm carrying a lot of stuff, so give me a moment. Now I have enough so I can just run around. Speaking of running around, where it is downstairs? Okay, fine, it's downstairs. Somewhere over here? Maybe? No, I'm back at the same spot, so what about here? Makes you wonder about their labs. Yeah, my bet. Ew, look at all the flies here. No one cleans anything. I fall? No one cleans anything at all. So much to pick, so much to steal. I love this. Nice What's this? Going. If you need to get into the armory and don't have the code, ask me. If I'm not around, check the front desk at the... I already did it. No need to check anything. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Let me see here. Um, pistol status. Functional. Untrained personnel must attend site safety seminar before using. As a seminar officer is not currently available, recommend permanent secure storage. Uh, please contact Volkova M and request that ammunition entries be updated as soon as possible. In order to maintain our stock for security personnel. Wow, look at all these weapons! So much ammo. I'm definitely gonna take everything, honestly, because no one's gonna use it. They're all dead, so who cares? Am I right? I am right. You don't even need to answer. Okay. Downstairs, yes! Okay, finally, we're actually downstairs. Nobody in this damn town knows how to clean up after themselves. Yo, listen. You are preaching to the choir, my boy. Seriously. Uh, oh, right here. Detailed drawings of an advanced pistol. Revisions and comments are scrawled across the image in mostly illegible writing, except for the name Orson Shaw scribbled in the corner. The semantics depict a 
Phil Lot just Synchrotron Pistol from a brand name Force, which is not native to the Halcyon colony. It is unclear from these plants what a I'm not even gonna pronounce that word, that's too much work. Does. Take that, take that. Oh! Oh! Oh lord! Oh lord! Uh, I'll just take whatever is inside these things. Not too bad. Not too bad. I love it. Would I give it to him? Probably not. I, I don't. I don't care. I'm gonna give it to Gladys on Groundbreaker so we can like get mad moolah for it. Honestly, I just don't really care much for these scientists. All right, let's head on out and see what happens. Let's see what we can do to help the other two out. We just got back and I'm not bothering to return the pistol to that scientist i'm actually going to figure out what's going on with the distress call here okay if you've come to end my life let's be on with it why is everyone thinking oh, they're gonna no, die one of them are you but you are the same low character been causing all manner of chaos across the system haven't you come to throw in with the trash that attacked us bro calm down Definitely not. You send a distress call. And why should I tell someone like you? I'm someone who solves problems. Seems like you got one, asshole. And might you be the sort of person who's uh, not averse to risking your life if the pay were right? I'm listening. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects the raptodons if those cretins get their hands on my research well bell need not kill me huh well if you tell me what you're researching i'd have a better idea what's at stake here you have a point there mm -hmm. it most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse all right we were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel Wait, is this all about toothpaste? One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Uh, please do. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. So, you can couch it however you like it's still just toothpaste a uh, diet toothpaste not just any diet toothpaste the ultimate diet toothpaste it's not worth your life i wouldn't care if it was the ultimate rocket fuel oh i'm certain it could be made into that as well with only a few changes to its molecular composition but you're missing the point let's focus for a moment shall we even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Apazap? Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Uh, you know what? Say no more. I'll remove the Cretans and retrieve your research. You want me to deal with the Raptodons too? Yes. But wow. don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. Who's Jameson? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. Wow, you left him to die. Should be ashamed of yourself. Don't you think it weighs on me? 
He was my responsibility. All of them were, are, regardless of their thinking on the matter. If he has died, too many have been lost, too many black marks against my name, and far too much paperwork. And all you care about is how it affects you? I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. What should I mistake it for, compassion? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, just wanted to hear you admit that you're a heartless bastard. Thanks. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. Could have fooled me. I, <laughs> you just keep telling yourself that. And my colleague, Jameson. Will you find him for me? Of course. So not only does he want me to find the research, kill everyone else, but hopefully his colleague is still alive. Says, this guy's already wrapped fodder. Ah, uh, yeah, Ellie, I think so too. But you know what? Let's go in, preparing for the worst, hope for the best. Okay. Ready, set, boom! Get him, Felix! Damn! Yo, he kicks like a horse at the fact that he was able to get rid of that big old machine. Yeah, it is. And we're here, so. Hey, boss, I think we can get into that vent shaft. Yeah, I think so too. Alright, let's go. Whoa, what is this place? Ugh, getting acquainted with all sorts of colorful new smells today. Yeah, you tell me. I can tell mad shit happened over here. Huh. So far, it seems like everything's dead, so... Oh! Folded like an omelet! Ellie is so trigger happy. It's so hilarious. What the hell? So, let me see here. Oh, it's one of those things. Okay, so here's the plan. Obviously, we have a couple stuff to do, so. I know I'm going to be doing a lot of dirty work here. Holy shit, is that thing eating? What the hell? Okay, so there's a whole bunch of raptodons loose kombus. I don't... How would I... You know what? Eliminate the outlaws. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of the outlaws first, so... Hey! You! Over here! Are you kidding me? Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Anton wants a problem fixed. I imagine he means you. Yes, I imagine he does. But we all have problems. It is the human condition. I am myself ensnared in this wretched place. You want to kill me. I don't want to die. Therefore, it is in my best interest to negotiate with you. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for my life. Why are you down here? Same reason you are, more than likely. I imagine we picked up the same tip. Secret research facility, abandoned town, minimal security. No, I'm tracking down a distress call. Crane actually sent out a cry for help? Oh, the poor bastard. Seeing his life's work snatched from him? Must be like losing a child. Tell me what you need. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door. 
but Cleo security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the rafts for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Aton was worried you might have made off with his research. He even called you Cretans. Give me a little credit. We are not bandits. We do not steal research. We liberate it. So a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. I will not be accountable for every idiot who wanders in front of my gun. Wow. So you robbed a lab. And shot some scientists on the way out. You sound like bandits to me. Semantics. If I were consigned to spending my days making diet toothpaste, I would pray for a bullet to my skull. You don't seem to care much for that research. May as well hand it over. It is my one bargaining chip. If you want this research, you will help me out of this mess. I'm going to need a good reason to risk my neck for you. Because Crane is a tool. Because no good deed goes unrewarded. Because doing me a good turn is the honorable and decent thing. Take your pick. Why do you think Aton is a tool? Crane is being used by Auntie Cleo. And now he is trying to use you. So what does that make you? Not trapped in an underground laboratory with half my crew dead. Fair. But while I may be trapped for the moment, those scientists are trapped in corporate slavery for the rest of their sad, sorry little lives. Don't you see? I am setting these people free. I am doing them a favor. Won't you do me one in return? All right. I'll help you out. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. So, hold on. I got some questions for you. Ask away. I have got nothing but time. So, why would you and your crew raid an Auntie Cleo facility? No one asks why anymore. The establishment tells us to live here, work there. Eat that, drink this. All our choices are made for us, so we forget we ever had a choice. I am doing this because I can. Because it thrills me. Because I take a deep and profound pleasure from stabbing at the heart of corporate power, no matter how shallow the wound. And how did you end up in this mess? I have been asking myself the same question. Our tactics were sound, but no battle plan survives contact with the enemy. We were acting on a good tip, but the tip never mentioned the wraps. When we hit the lab, those wraps got loose, tore through as many of ours as theirs. You act like the corporations are your enemy. What do you have against them? From the day we are born, we are made to obey. Never question, never hope. Never dream of anything greater than the lot appointed to us. Corporations expect us to work until the day we die. But they could not give a half-bit shit about our lives. Okay, well, what will I get myself into if I help you? Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. I can talk the guards into leaving, but your people have to let them pass. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. If you can talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. Wait here. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. So I have the option to talk to security or to eliminate the Raptor Dawn. Oh man, this is going to be a lot of work. I can feel it. Nothing here for me to kill. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill the Raptodon first, right? If I somehow come across security, then I'll talk to them. Not bad, huh? 
No, fantastic. I'm going to try and kill off those beasts. If I can just... Yeah, I see it. If I could eliminate talking to as many people as possible, I'll do it. Damn! I love my companions, man. They are awesome. Ooh! Ooh! Do I want to talk to them? No, I don't. Oh, shit. I, I would rather not talk to... Because I'm awesome. That's why. Ah, uh, fine. I guess I'll talk to security. Whatever. You damn turncoat. We saw everything. What the hell kind of insult is you that? You must think me a fool. I, I don't even know you. I was security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. Ease of the trigger. Hear me out. You got one minute. Starting now. I convinced Cassandra to let you leave in peace. The lab's a wreck. The staff's half dead. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Yeah, that's Listen what I said. The deals we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. Fuck around. Hasn't there been enough death? I gotta believe that all we've done will mean something to the company. To Doc Crane. That effort will make up for mistakes. This isn't a cause worth dying for. You're meant for better. I trust that we all end up where we're supposed to be. That all the variables come together in the end. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Here, my key card. It'll get you access to the whole place. Full stakes, people. We're heading back to town. Nice. Holy cow, this is fantastic. Uh, what else? Barred. At this point, where can I go? That's the bathroom. Definitely not in the mood to do that. No place over here. I guess I'll go below. That's the only option. Hold on. Do I really want to kill off the raptodons? I don't... I feel like this doctor has set me up to do so much work for no reason. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. Wow, look at you being so... You know what? I'll be back. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.